You'll be fine. Now just go in there and impress them with your wit. You'll be fine. Because if you aren't and you mess up, I will burn your children. No. And your hat. No. <laughs> go on, Abe. <clears throat> go on. <clears throat> Yeah, no, absolutely. No, her GPA is not high enough. No. Oh. <coughs> um, can I call you back? There's a bit of commotion going on outside. Yeah. Thank you. After you. Oh, no, af after you. <laughs> no, I'm just after you. After you. <laughs> after you. After you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Martha. Mary Todd. Hello, my name is Ayer Sekadar and I am the Dean of Admissions for George Washington University. You must be George? And then that makes you Abraham. Didn't you have a beard when we saw your picture? My wife made me shave it. She has an odd preoccupation with razors. And then I made him cut it. <laughs> so anyways, I called you two here today because not only did you request an interview, but I needed to tell you both that there's only one spot left and the two of you are competing for that spot. <laughs> However, there are a few parts of the application that you didn't fill out. Um, actually, there are several parts that you didn't fill out. For instance, George, why did you leave out your GPA? Oh, you mean my greatest political achievement? No disrespect, but there are far too many over just one now. Like the time when I was battling the Redcoats valiantly. Actually, George, I was referring to your, uh, your grade point average. Oh. Never mind. Abraham, your GPA for 8th grade was great, but, um, uh, where's the rest? There is no rest. Okay. Well, I do have a question about your SAT scores. Um, are you aware that four score and seven is not an SAT score? And even if it were, it's not a good one? Doesn't quite cut it for George Washington's university. Oh, George, great job on your SAT scores. 1776 isn't a bad score in the least bit. I cannot tell a lie. It was not my best effort. But that is my favorite number. Right. Well, neither one of you answered the essay questions. Care to explain? Alexander Hamilton wasn't available. He does all of my written work. He does? Hey, at least I write all my own essays. Give me some credit for that. I actually brought one of my shorter essays. <clears throat> that, on the first day of January, in the year of our Lord 1860, all persons held as slaves within any state or designated area of a state, the people whereof shall then be in rebellion against the United States, shall be then, thenceforward, and forever free. I object. Mount Vernon needs domestic support. I'd like to keep my slaves until the day that I die. Sit down, both of you. This is a college admissions interview, not a political sounding board. Now, if you would please tell us about your extracurriculars. We love to see extracurriculars at George Washington University. We think it makes a well-rounded person. Abraham, you're up. Excellent. Excellent. <clears throat> so let's see, um, there's rail splitting, abolishing slavery, renovating Mount Vernon, fathering countries. Oh, and I did found the Honesty Club. Chopping down cherry trees. No, wait, sorry, I didn't actually do that part, did I? And I established Aging Quickly Society. Expanding Mount Vernon. Winning the, the Revolutionary War. War. And painting Mount Vernon. That's just about it. How diverse. 
Now, before we ask you about anything else, why should we accept you at George Washington University? Well, I did win the Civil War. <clears throat> we saw that, yes. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. George? My name is George Washington, and I'm applying here at George Washington University. George Washington, George Washington University. <laughs> okay, so we've covered extracurriculars and stats. Um, in your opinion, what is your best trait? Mount Vernon. That's not a trait, George. Well, then my love of Mount Vernon. It's all-encompassing and ever so passionate. What are you, crazy? Who told you that? I tend to be <clears throat> very honest. Right, great, okay, fine. Before things get any weirder inside this office, which one of you wants it more? I, I do. do. Because, first of all, it's a I'm an expert Actually, scholar. I don't. I, I don't want this at all. I, I don't even want to go to this school. I, I want to go to Lincoln University in Missouri. George Washington was my safety. You hear that, Mary? You hear that? You hear that, Mary? You hear that? You hear that, Mary? You hear it? You hear it? You, you, you hear it? You hear that, Mary? Ooh. You hear that, Mary? Ah. You hear? You, 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 hear, he, 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 hear that? You hear that, Mary? Yeah. You hear that, Mary? You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? Mary? You hear that? Mary, you hear me? Mary, yeah, yeah, you know what? Mary, Mary taught the two Ds. What, was one not good enough? One was good enough for God. I'm never having any more of your children! <laughs> you hear that, Mary? You hear that, Mary? You hear that, Mary? Mary? And I'm burning down the school! Is she serious? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess there's always my backup. Where's that? It's Lincoln University. Roommates! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh. 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 We'll have so many friends. It'll be wonderful. And I'll I can win. Pillows? pillows. Yeah. Maybe with Mount Vernon. And the wallpaper can be with Mount Vernon. Oh. Everything oh. Mount Vernon. What do you think? Oh. That's so wonderful. Oh, I'll get the door. <laughs> Shut up and drive. Get the paddle. You look ridiculous. You're not going fast enough. Why are you eight? Oh.